All right, welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is Ben Neighbors, and if it's first time watching one of our videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, at this point, we are close to 400 uh, videos that we've uploaded to this channel, which is crazy to me. Uh, I never thought when I shot my first video that we would get to 400 videos. Um, and now I have the mindset in five, six years from now, I'll probably have 4,000 videos. All right, so uh, if you are subscribed, thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for uh, paying attention to the videos we've been putting out recently. And I've gotten a lot of great feedback from coaches. That's why I've been pushing harder recently to upload more, right? Now in today's video, it's a little bit different, um, but I know this is going to be very beneficial for you whether you already have a business or if you work a nine to five job and you're looking to start a business. But yesterday I got off a call with a coach. Um, he was applying for our uh, consulting program. And in that program, we help coaches in a group setting and we help them start their business, grow their business, scale their business. That's something we've been doing for the last couple of years now, and it works very well for those who are very committed, right? And while, while I was on this call, uh, I asked the coach, you know, how committed are you? And he was like, you know what? Like, I kind of want to just do this as a side hustle. And I know when someone says something like that, that's for me a warning sign that all right, well, I just want to do this on the side to make a couple of extra bucks. Now, here's the deal. All right, and I'm not picking on this guy because you might watch the video, but I will say this so, so this helps you if you think that way. Anytime you tell yourself, oh, I'm going to do this as a side hustle, you're already telling yourself and you're like conditioning your mind that this is just going to be like a side project. And when it's a side project, I'm not going to give it my full attention. So we never know the potential of a side hustle because we are just giving it a little bit of attention, right? Just kind of put it off to the side and we'll spend time on it when we want versus committing to it. And I have seen this and I've seen this like clockwork over the past couple of years. Coaches who approach their business that way, right? As a side hustle, it's not a business, right? It's a hobby. And there's a clear difference between having a business and having a side hustle. Side hustle can, can be something that can produce income that doesn't take a long time to, to spend with every week, right? And here's why I don't like that. It's because you know you have something and you're telling people that you're working on something, but you're just not giving it the full attention that it deserves. And when you treat it like a business, like you don't, you don't tell people you're, you have a side hustle. Like for me, I don't tell anyone that I have a side hustle on YouTube, <laughs> right? I don't tell anyone I have a side hustle with our consulting program, right? That's my business, right? I don't tell anyone I have a side hustle with training kids. That's my business, right? And it requires putting in time. And what I've noticed is those who say, oh, it's, I want that to be my side hustle, they're, they're very uh, non-committal, right? But they're like that with everything. They're, they're not just like that with work or business. They're going to be like that with everything. They, they want to just dip their toe in. They don't want to jump in, right? So I want you to ask yourself, if you're in the position right now where you're, you're thinking, yeah, I want to make this as a side hustle, I promise you, I am not someone who can help you. And there's not going to be any other business coaches out there who can help you unless you change the way you talk about what you do, right? Even if you have one client, actually, even if you have zero clients, when someone asks you what, what you're working on or what you're doing, I have this business. This is what we do, right? When you project confidence to someone else, that gives you more confidence that what you're doing is the thing that you want to do. It's not this little side project, right? It's 
not a side project. So next time someone asks you, right, you need to step up with confidence and tell them what you do. And don't tell yourself, don't tell people that you're doing this thing on the side, right? Because what it does is it subconsciously gets up here and it makes you feel like, yeah, this, this can't be a full-time thing. And I promise you that's one of the biggest reasons that's, that stops a lot of coaches and trainers from going full-time is because they think that they can't do it. And they think it's only something they can do on the side. I've talked to hundreds of coaches who've, who've asked me, Ben, can I do this full-time? Like, how is it possible? Well, first, we have to stop thinking of it as a side hustle. And we have to approach it as a business. And when you approach it as a business, you give it its full attention. Right? Give it the full attention. And I know if you're watching this video and you think that you have a side hustle right now, trust me, you don't have a side hustle. It's a hobby. Right? And let's take that hobby and turn it into an actual business though. Like we have to think different, we have to behave different, we have to be doing different things uh, during the day, and it all comes down to how you approach it, right? I can't, for, for example, I can't do these YouTube videos and just wing it, right? It takes a lot of preparation. Can't just wing it. Me and Cowboy don't just laugh in the afternoon and say, ah, oh, let's come up with this video tomorrow. That doesn't, that doesn't work that way, <laughs> right? Everything is planned out, but it's like that with, with everything within my business, every email. Like if you're on my email newsletter, you know I, I send a bunch of emails, right? I send a bunch of emails. Uh, it's like that with the website. It's like that with the consulting program. Everything is planned out. So everything requires a lot of time. It's not a side hustle. All right, so you are officially not doing a side hustle anymore. You are running a business. That's the way we need to think. That's how you're gonna move forward with what you're doing, and that's how you're gonna break through the, the glass ceiling, All right? And I'm gonna end on a story here. A couple years ago, I was contacted by a coach, and he told me those words. He was like, yeah, I, I have a nine to five right now, and I'm doing, soccer training on the side and I said okay well how many hours per week are you coaching kids and he said three I said okay great and how much income is that generating and he said six hundred dollars a month because uh, he was doing group training um, he was making around six hundred dollars that was when parents were actually paying <laughs> and um, then I was like okay well What's stopping you from doing this full time? And he said, well, I just don't think I can generate enough to replace my nine to five income. And then I asked him what his nine to five income was. And he said it was around $3,000 a month. All right, so 3,000. And he was doing around 600 in his side hustle, all right? And so we, I broke it down and I was like, well, you know, what if you were training like, 10 to 12 sessions a week and we had you had a lot more clients don't you think you could do this full time and he was like yeah but you know i just don't know if i'm gonna have time to do that i was like of course you think that because right now you're just doing it on the side right right now this guy uh like he quit his job six months after we started working together uh, he's doing around twelve thousand per month right now, did that happen overnight? No. He had to change the way he thought about his side hustle. It's not a side hustle. Once we started working together, it was a business, right? It was very clear that he had a deadline that he needed to meet so he could quit his job. And once he quit his job, guess what? He had so much time now to devote to his business. And while he had his nine to five job, he started spending a lot of those hours during the day while he was at work, working on his business. So he, he could get away from the thing he hated and he could move towards the thing that he wanted to do. So that should show you, right? When you think small, like you'll get small results. When you start to think bigger, all right, you can absolutely replace your, your income with your job, right? And like, He's making four times the amount 
that he used to make work, working a nine to five. And I promise you he's working less than he was <laughs> when he was working at a nine to five. So that should show you, right? There's zero glass ceiling unless you tell yourself that this is a side hustle. And I promise you, those are words I would avoid. I would stop saying that. And we, we are running a business. Right? You have a business. And it doesn't matter to me if you have zero clients or a thousand clients. You have a business. All right? Approach it that way. Show others confidence when you talk about what you're doing. And that gives you more confidence up here all right? to know that what you're doing is a real thing. Right? It's a real thing. It's not this like girl that you hang out with at two o'clock in the morning, like three times a month, <laughs> right? That's not what this is. This is a business. We need to treat it like a business and we need to approach it like a business. And you need to start thinking that way. And when you do that, right, you get better results. You take it more serious. All right. That's it, guys. Hopefully this helps. And uh, let's treat it like a business coming up. And if you're, you have this side hustle mentality, you have to change. I promise you. I promise you, you have to change. And I know a lot of coaches that watch my videos, they have that mentality. Or they have a business right now and they think there's a cap of what, what they can do. There's zero cap. Zero cap. And if you want to break through whatever that glass ceiling is that, that you've put over your head, reach out to them. That's what I do. I help coaches do that. My number is 210-960-5771. Reach out to me. Text me. All right? Shoot me a text. We'll schedule a quick call together. I'll see how I can help out and we'll move forward from there. That's it. I'll see you later.